Okay. Um, I set up the VM and I copied the files over to the documents folder. You can put them anywhere you want. Um, so I have the lab set up, the Word document, and the PowerPoint if I need it. In the lab setup, I've already extracted the files. Um, we're going to use this file to create. I don't know if you created your Docker already, uh, but the PowerPoint and the Word document kind of explain how the process to do that. Uh, but real quick, I'm just going to open up a terminal window. I'm currently in the home directory, so I have to change to wherever I stored those files. Uh, and that's the folder I have them in my, my system. And there's the Docker file. So the first thing we want to do is use the uh, Docker compose command with the tack F and use that Docker file, the YML. So Docker compose um, build. And that's going to build our Dockers for us. And what happened? I think this is the image I already built it on. So hopefully it's working. But that'll go through a process of downloading all the stuff it needs and, and starting everything up. And then you have to set up, uh, turn everything on. DC up. Let me clear the screen. DC up will turn on the Dockers. So there's where it's starting the Dockers. Uh, after that, just leave this screen alone. You can minimize it if you want, but this is the Docker uh, window, so I'm just, I don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to open up a, a new terminal window. Just right click, new window. And this is where I'll do all of my stuff in the new window. So in the background, that stuff's still running. Uh, you can run a Docker uh, PS. This is the shortcut that they set up. Alias is for. You can read about that in the Word document. Um, but we, sh we see our three separate Dockers that are set up, our containers. Um, so I assume this one's the one that has the website we're going to use. This is the attacker's site, and this is the SQL database. Um, so from here, uh, you should be ready to go. So you just want to open up Firefox. Mine's a different VM than you have. Uh, but when you open up Firefox, um, you're going to navigate to that site, um, the, the fake social media site, which I don't have right away. Um, so let's see, I think it's www. Oh, it did save it for me. So this is the website. Um, you can log in and as any user. Uh, we'll log in as Alice. Um, I think it was Seed Alice, something like that. And now I'm logged in as Alice. So if you want to see the actual request when you go to a website Firefox has this built in right here this little icon is the HTTP headers so you can actually see in real time what's happening so if I navigate to a page uh, we should see the actual request so here's a little menu and there's as soon as I click that menu it sent a request off to the website and this was the request asking for uh, the menu, and then we got a response saying it was okay. So it re retrieved the request here, um, which was for this menu. Uh, if we scroll down and we look at members, and that's the, the HTTP, so this kind of gets cluttered, um, but these are all the different members. Um, and if you click on a different member, like Bobby, um, I'm going to clear this out. So at the bottom of this, there's a clear option, so we can only see the header we're interested in which is add friend. So when I click this button, the website's going to send off a request to add Bobby to, to our friend list. And that's the request. So my VM has this token um, and the timestamp that uh, you, you should have seen in the video. Normally you won't have this on yours. It should be turned off. And you should just see this portion um, where it's adding friend 57. So Bobby is apparently... Um, why is that right there? This is the request we have to send from our attacker website to add a friend. Um, and that's the, 
the standard, the first task was to display the header. Um, and that's how you do that. So header live is just this icon up here. And you can save this off at the bottom here. Uh, where was it? I clicked something. I don't know where to get, how to get back. So we'll do that again. Remove friend. Oh, here it is. Oh, so at the bottom of this one, I clicked on it and it brought up that other page. Uh, it's recording the data, auto-scrolling, so the latest will be on the bottom. Uh, we want to save this file off. So now we have the add and the remove. Uh, when you click File Save, it should save it to a text file. Um, mine, the last time, popped up on the screen and gave me an option of where to save that. So I'm not sure where it saved it. So let's try that again. File Save. And it's saving it somewhere. Uh, and I just have to go find it. It should be a text file somewhere. But that's basically um, the process. Don't want to mess with that. And then uh, some other things they set up is the attacker this folder is actually a shared folder here's the skeleton html files so if you want to add a friend right click open with another application you can use vi or text editor um, and you just have to input what is the source so when you um it's not gonna let me paste paste that html header the http header that we had earlier um, with adding bobby you would just paste that inside the quotes here so when anybody visits this page add friend it's going to automatically send that because it's doing a image uh, we can set this to zero so we can't see the image um, and then set the source to http whatever that that was the, the, the add friend or whatever it was um, save this off, run it, and it should automatically do that as soon as you open this HTML because the image tag is going to make like it's trying to go to this source to download an image where, in fact, it's actually sending in the, the cross-site uh, forgery request. Um, so just opening the page will do that. And you have to do that, just follow through um, and do all the other ones. So you can edit the profile, and that's a post request, and the instructions are in the document on how to do that. But that's setting up your environment was the hard part, I think, uh, if you've never done it before. Um, and I really want to find that text file that it saved off, and I can't remember where it saved it last time. And there it is. So it defaulted to my download. So I had a couple in here from previous. Um, if you, open up these headers, you have it, and you can just copy it. So this is the portion that you would put in that image source up to there. You don't need this for your VM. So the web page add friend 57 would add Bobby in this case. And you can go through and add different based on the ID of the specific user. And that's it in a nutshell. Have fun.